Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. Now, I have something that I've been wanting to get off my chest for a long, long time, especially for this season. Now, as you all know, literally all of you, I am a Jacksonville Jaguar fan. And my team ain't shit. And if you're a fan of an AFC team that's not the New England Patriots, your team also ain't shit. And I'm going to tell you why. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why if you like an AFC team, your team ain't shit. So here's the facts. The New England Patriots have owned the AFC for the last 18 years. Now in the last 18 years, the New England Patriots have made it to seven. Now eight. Sorry. In the last 19 years, the Patriots, counting this year, have made eight Super Bowls. Those 10 years where they didn't make it, it was either a Peyton Manning team, who is arguably probably the next best quarterback of all time, and they always had those matchups, so that is understandable. And then a young Big Ben and the Steelers made it a couple of times, and the Ravens shocked the nation and made it as well um, back in the day when they played the San Francisco 49ers, but the fact of the matter is this, Tom Brady is 40 fucking one years old, and he's going to be dominating the AFC for years and years and years to come, and he's fucking 41. You can't look at, at me right now in the eyes, and you can't look at Tom Brady in the eyes and tell me he doesn't have a solid three, four, five years left. It sucks. The guy's going to play until he's 47. Like, this guy's going to straight up play until Adam Vinatieri age, and it sucks because until then, my fellow fans of AFC teams, your team ain't shit. I don't care. You can say more teams are less shit than your team, but your team ain't shit. Let's go through the AFC. The whole AFC East, if you want to talk bottom of the barrel of the AFC, the entire AFC East, your team ain't shit, and your team ain't going to be shit for a long, long time. Bills, Jets, Dolphins, sorry, you ain't shit. And like everybody that I'm talking shit about, in this video from the AFC, you guys can comment down below. Well, the Jags ain't shit. The Jags have only had one good season. I know the Jags ain't shit. You know, I'm admitting that. No team in the AFC is shit except for the New England Patriots. And it needs to change. It needs to change soon. It's almost like we need to build one fucking super team, relocate, to take down the New England Patriots. Because as of right now, no team in the AFC is shit. And especially nobody in the AFC East. Let's take it to the AFC West. The Chargers. I'm upset at the Chargers because I said in my picks with Bryce, I was like, the Chargers are going to dominate. They're going to kill the Patriots. There is just no way. You know, I know. I know the Patriots are undefeated at home. Chargers are undefeated on the road. Let's see what we can do. What do the Chargers do? They get smoked. And they have Phillip Rivers, who's a Hall of Fame quarterback. And this is probably the first time they made the playoffs since around 2013, 2014. You guys ain't shit. The Chargers, they ain't shit. The Chiefs, they're going to be shit for a while. You know, I mean, they're going to be the shit in a while, I should say. Patrick Mahomes, the offensive weapons, they're fun to watch. But as of right now, you guys just lost to the Patriots. You guys ain't shit. You guys have the best offense in the league. One of the better offenses of all time, possibly. But you still fucked around and found out a way to lose to the Patriots so the rest of America can watch the New England Patriots play in the Super Bowl. Thank you, Kansas City. You guys ain't shit. The Oakland Raiders. The Oakland Raiders made the playoffs, I believe, once in the last 12 years, 10 years, something like that. And they lost because Derek Carr got hurt. And ever since Derek Carr got hurt that one year when he had the promising year, everything for Oakland went downhill. They're always constantly changing coaching staff. John Gruden kind of seems like he knows what he's doing. Maybe he's looking for the brightest future possible for his new squad. But as of now, the Oakland Raiders especially aren't shit. So we went over the Chargers, we went over the Chiefs, went over the Raiders. Let's talk about the Broncos. The Broncos, you guys are scumbags. John Elway, you're a scumbag. Why? Because you scooped up Peyton Manning and you decided to make a couple of Super Bowl runs to say that your team has been relevant the last 20 years. Because if it wasn't for Mr. Manning, your team wouldn't be shit for the last 20 years. Who's taking you to the Super Bowl from all those other quarterbacks that you had before Peyton? Tebow? Tebow wasn't going to get it done. Sure, you had a playoff moment. You didn't go to the Super Bowl, though. You ain't shit. 
You ain't shit. Then you sign Peyton Manning. You make it to a couple. You win one. And in one of them, you get blown out by the Seahawks. So, I mean, Denver, you guys aren't shit. And you guys definitely aren't shit because you went out to get Peyton Manning and that was the only way you guys won games. So, that being said, Denver, you also ain't shit. No, 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 no. Now, this next division... This next division I'm going to talk about of teams that just completely ain't shit, I think is probably probably has the potential to be a solid division when Tom Brady leaves. But as of right now, the AFC ain't shit. So, Pittsburgh, you ain't shit. When's the last time y'all beat New England? Every year, Pittsburgh enters the season. And this is the team that could beat New England. Big Ben, the veteran, can lead this team to destiny. Can take them wherever they need to go. Y'all motherfuckers missed the playoffs this year. Sure, in the last 20 years, you know, Big Ben has got you two Super Bowl wins, and that's dope. But the time for that has passed. Y'all haven't made it to the Super Bowl since y'all lost to the Packers. And that was a while ago. I was in elementary school when that game was played. So, I mean, if you want me to be honest, Pittsburgh, y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't been shit for a while. Sure, you have a electrifying offense. Y'all is fun to watch. Y'all also lost to Blake Bortles and the Jacksonville Jaguars in the playoffs 45 to 42. So I suggest you just sit there and let that one marinate because you guys also, you guys also ain't shit. Cleveland. Cleveland. There's no other team that I want to be good. And this year, y'all took a step in the right direction. But for fucking damn sure, the Cleveland Browns ain't shit. I don't really need to do any more explaining than that. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Y'all hung on to Marvin Lewis since 1991. You guys made some playoffs a couple of times, but not a single playoff win. And these are the people in this conference that you expect to threaten Tom Brady and his greatness. Embarrassing. Cincinnati. Y'all ain't shit. Baltimore, no. Baltimore, if any, there's a couple of teams in the AFC that might have a little bit of bragging rights and could say they're a little less not shit than the other. Baltimore's one of those teams. They fucked around, they upset the Patriots a couple times. But, those couple times, they don't matter. After that, you know, when do you guys really ever make the playoffs anymore? And when do you guys really get far in the playoffs? Yeah, down. You guys made it this year with Lamar Jackson, and you guys got butt fucked. By the Chargers, but somehow managed to come back a little bit and make it look closer. You know, the Ravens, as of now, ain't shit. And I, I think that a lot of people are going to realize that Lamar Jackson ain't shit. And, you know, there's going to be some people in the comment section, I'm sure. But, like, what are you going to say? None of you guys are shit compared to the Patriots. And it sucks. It's embarrassing. It's an embarrassing conference. And I'm embarrassed to be a part of it. And I'm embarrassed that my team is as bad as... As it is, and speaking of that, let's talk about it. The AFC South, the Indianapolis Colts, y'all ain't been shit since y'all had Peyton Manning. You guys went to the AFC Championship game one year to pace the Patriots. Y'all got fucked up. Don't bring up the deflate gate, because I know that's a thing, but LeGarrette Blunt ran over all y'all bitch asses anyway. Like, it was never going to be close. So, that being said, the Colts definitely ain't shit. Tennessee! I fucking hate you guys with every inch of my being. You guys sure as shit ain't shit. You guys played them in the playoffs in 2017. You guys are all hyping up this upset. We're going to prove why we are shit and we are going to beat the Patriots and end the dynasty. Oh, 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 and you guys got fucked up. It wasn't even close. You know, you guys got sent home. Shitty deal. That's the way she goes. You guys didn't make the playoffs this year. I think last year it just ended your playoff drought for a really long time also. So, again, Tennessee, y'all ain't really shit either. Houston. Houston. Houston, you all go to the playoffs every now and again. But when do you win, really? You win one game a year, maybe? You all ain't threatening the Patriots. Not for any time soon. Y'all ain't shit. The Jacksonville Jaguars. My favorite team. A team I would never say a bad word about. I'm just kidding. Y'all especially ain't shit. Y'all didn't make the playoffs for 10 years until 2017. You guys are in like the same category as the Cleveland Browns. Y'all are probably the definition of the most ain't shit for the last 10, 20 years. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't gonna do shit. 
No team in the AFC is shit. If you're a fan of an AFC team, your team ain't shit. Now, I hope you all realize I'm not a Patriots fan. I hate the Patriots just as much as everybody else does. But when you look at the grand scheme of things, the AFC really ain't been shit for the last 20 years. And Tom Brady has made the whole AFC his bitch. So I feel like I just had to get that off my chest. Also, get this off your chest if you haven't already. Go ahead and like me on Facebook, at Shreve Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Trevin Pixley. Follow me on Instagram, at Trayvon Pixley. And if you're feeling generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Shreve Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel five days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Those are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you have a great day.